Hey y'all, what's up? Happy New Year. Did y'all have a good start to your new year? I hope so. Hope everybody had a beautiful start to their new year. I see that the little Tasmanian devil over there cutting up. He started his new year on demon time. Like, do you ever get tired? <laughs> Goodness gracious. But y'all, we're gonna get into this last part, part three of the 99 problems, but she named one um breakdown of all the times that Martell had to say that Melody was she. And we're picking up when he went to see Dr. Francis for the first time. Now, he had several chances when he was talking to Dr. Francis to say that she cheated, but he didn't because we already know she didn't. But what I noticed when he was talking to Dr. Francis, he was more honest than he has ever been with anybody. So let's get into this video that is covered under the Copyright Act of 1976 under Section 107, and we will be doing commentary. We will be critiquing some um, parts of Love and Marriage Huntsville. I've already done my research, so let's get started. So what's bringing you here today? That's a good place to start. So what's bringing me here today yeah. is, I mean, uh, infidelity. Infidelity. Yes, that happened. On your part? Yes. So when Dr. Francis said infidelity on your part, you would think he would say, yeah, but my wife cheated first, so then I cheated. But he didn't say that. Okay, let's keep going. How far into your marriage were you before the infidelity started? This this has been going on for like over three years. Over three years. The same years. person. You know? Same same. And your wife knew about it over the three years stretch? No. She found out, I guess, over a year ago. When he was with the guys, he told them that it had been a year and some change. When he was on the boat with Mel, he tried to lie and say that it was a year. And she called him out on it. Now, here he is with Dr. Francis, in my opinion, being honest and saying that it was three years. But Mel knew that he was lying when he said it, it had only been a year because she questioned him on it. How long was it? That's another question I need to know. I'm pretty sure you know. You I'm told asking, me how I don't long. care. I'm asking you, though. A year. You see how fast he lied? And she knew he was lying. He knew he was lying. That's why she doubled back on that question. Y'all only talked for a year? So you're still lying. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm saying, but that's irre irrelevant. I don't talk to her anymore. The only relevancy is if you're still lying to me. See, we can't move okay. forward okay. We talk if we for don't two put years. all cards on the table. We talked for two years. We were looking just like Mel because you had her thinking it was a year and a half. Only for you to stand in her face and say it was two years. Then we get over here with Dr. Francis. Now you're talking about three years. So you never was being honest with your wife from jump. But since you can be honest with Dr. Francis, it seems like, keep going. I want to hear what else you got to say to Dr. Francis. Have you thought what led to your infidelity? Wrong place at the wrong time. Now, <laughs> this is Dr. Francis' face. After this nutcase is sitting up there smiling, saying, wrong place, wrong time. As if it's a joke. So I can only imagine what Dr. Francis was saying in his head. I wish I knew because his face is saying a lot. I'm with the wrong person there saying the wrong things, all of that. It seemed to me, though, that you negate your responsibility for self-governance. <laughs> Mart Martel does not have a blues clues, baby. About what Dr. Francis is saying. Dr. Francis said it seems like you negate your responsibilities for self governance. <laughs> and Martel, <laughs> Martel, eyes started blinking. He even frowned his face up. Martel is, he was blinking so fast, it's like his brain was buffering. Basically, Martel, what he is saying to you is that it seems to him like you don't take accountability and you're putting off your reason of why you did what you did on other people. This is what he's saying to you. 
What made you decide that? Listen, it's okay to be wrong. Um, see, I'm hanging with some people that's doing all this stuff. It's like almost an introduction. They planted the seed. They planted the seed. Okay, look. <laughs> Dr. Francis and the facial expressions. <laughs> See, this lets you know that Martel did not have a clue about what Dr. Francis meant by it seems like you negate your responsibilities for self-governance. So Dr. Francis and his said was like, you know what? Let me say this in simpler terms. Only for Martel to continue to put the reasons why he cheated on other people. It wasn't even simple enough for him. But the crazy thing is he never named Melody as one of those other people. You know, since she cheated first and then he cheated. You see what I'm saying? So Dr. Francis is like, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Let me ask him a different question. What did you deserve from this woman that you couldn't get from your wife? It wasn't that she wasn't providing everything okay. that I needed. Okay. All right. I just wanted more. Martel says it wasn't that she wasn't providing everything I needed. I just wanted more. Now, wouldn't that have been the perfect opportunity to say, her behavior changed. We weren't having XES anymore. I would ask her to do things in the bedroom, but she would say no. And I would have to tell her, you don't tell your husband no for anything. She wasn't cooking every day like I want her to. Like, wouldn't that have been the perfect opportunity to say all of those things? But here sitting with Dr. Francis, he's being honest in my opinion. Because that's not the only time that he said that. He also said something something similar to that when he was talking to Neville. So the question I've been wanting to ask you is, what enticed you? Thinking I can do whatever I want to do. That's it. I felt entitled. like Leaving that power like, like Neville, don't you ever insult James St. Patrick like that. He is nowhere near ghost. He's more of a combination of Judith and Harley on Tyler Perry's Temptation, Confessions of a Marriage Counselor. Yeah, he's more of a combination of them. Never James St. Patrick. Yeah, <laughs> I was the person pulling up in the Lamborghini and women right here, women right there, just dying to just getting inside the car. You know what I'm talking about? I flew her places, you know? I got cribs and uh, put her places and did whatever I wanted to do. You feel me? Because I could and it made me feel good. So you were taking money from your family, from those four beautiful kids that you love to weaponize when you're trying to manipulate Melody. You were taking money from them to support your lizard mouth girlfriend. Do you know how pathetic you look? That's why you always mad. Because you can't do those things anymore. Because you don't have the connect. Mel is the money. And you can't stand it every time she elevate because you're not a part of it. And you're not a part of it because you chose not to be a part of it. Because you thought that you was the man because you can fly people somewhere and put people places. Now you got to figure out how to put yourself in a place. You should be embarrassed. You should be mad. You should be mad every day you wake up. Well, you have to relive the fact every day. That you messed up your family because you wanted your man. Do you know how asinine, how juvenile it sounds that you messed up your family because you wanted your knob slot? That don't even make sense. That's why you mad. And then she over there, she ain't doing nothing. At least there are some side chicks that will boss up. They will try to do something. She's sitting at home every day doing nothing. Take some online classes or something. Because as you can see, he ain't got the money no more. Because he don't have the woman no more who had the money. This is ridiculous. Then you get over there with your uncle, your uncle Dexter. And you explain it to him the situation. And I'm glad when you was trying to point the finger, he was like, oh, so that's your excuse? 
when I first did it, I was pointing the finger at Melody. I felt that I was doing my part. Mm -hmm. I was satisfying her on my end. Okay. I took care of things in the house. I worked just as hard as she did. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't doing the simple things that I was asking her to do. So that's your excuse? That was. I'm glad your Uncle Dexter said, so that's your excuse? Because that's all you were doing, giving excuse after excuse. Like Dr. Francis said, you don't know how, it seems like you don't know how to negate your responsibilities for self-governance. Basically saying, you don't know how to take accountability. Because all you were doing was sitting up there making excuses for why you did what you did when you could have left. And when he says, that's your, is that your excuse? You could have easily said, you know, I really did it because she cheated. But you didn't say that. Then you get over there talking to Sadaric because you and your feelings because Mel like to express herself on social media. So you feel like she broadcasting your business. How she could do anything but that. And then when Sadaric throw out, get a boyfriend. Now you in your feelings. You looking at him like, bruh, don't play with me like that. And that's what you said in your confessional. But when he said it, why didn't you say she already did? Man. We don't want to broadcast anything on social media. Correct. I think that's the that's the worst thing to do. Correct. You feel me? And um, I'm like, you can do anything else. You can throw shoes. You can curse. You can hit whatever you want to do. But Get a boyfriend. <laughs> nope. I'm not funny. I don't play like that. What you mean you don't play like that? You was already playing like that. So, first of all. You said that she was already playing like that. And that's what made you get in the game. Now you sitting here in your confessional top, but you don't play like that. Meaning she ain't finna get no boyfriend. Isn't that funny? You can have a girlfriend, but she can't have a boyfriend. I don't know where you men get this. Um, that if you don't do it, somebody else will. I don't know why y'all think that only apply to y'all. I don't know where y'all get that from. but. It's funny to me that you didn't say to Sadari, you know, she already got a boyfriend. So don't play with me like that. That's what you should have said before saying, I don't play like that. I know what you mean, though. What you're saying is do what you need to do to express yourself emotionally. But it's not everybody's business. Because you know why? Because it's going to make things worse. Exactly. The only thing that made things worse is the fact that you kept cheating. You value cheating over your family. That's how things got worse. And that's why you're in the position that you're in now. That's why you come into 2024 throwing a tantrum. But everything is your fault. So suck it up, buttercup. You're just going to have to deal with the choices that you made. And the crazy thing about it is that when Melody told you that you need to get your stuff and get out, you had the nerve to say to her. There ain't going to be no coming back from this, Mel. I don't want anything to come I, back. I'll That's the you. good thing. And when she got fed up and she was done done, she didn't look back. And you've been in your feelings ever since. But that's all you, shawty. So it is what it is. But you had several opportunities to say that she cheated and not one time did you do that you didn't start hollering about that she cheated until she said she was not coming back then you got on your smear campaign and recruited your flying monkeys and y'all been cutting up ever since but this series was to show that he had a plethora of opportunities to call her out for the cheating that he say she did. But as you can see, he didn't because she did it. So y'all get down in the comments. Let's talk about this timestamp. If it's a, a certain part that you want to talk about. And as always over here, when I make the video, that's my opinion. When you get down in the comments, that's your opinion. If your opinion differs, differs from mine, I will not get under your comment trying to convince you to see things my way. So let's talk about it, y'all. And I'll talk to you later.